Hello, Frida here. I can't start any other way now, can I? In this video I will try to go through how to use a PDF sewing pattern. These are so practical. You will need a computer, obviously, and the pattern will look something like this from Wardrobe by Me, stating clearly that it is a PDF pattern and not a paper pattern. You will get some information beforehand about sizes, notions and fabric, like in this one from Olulu. When you have paid online, the pattern will be directly emailed to you, so you will have it instantly, which is great. Then you need a printer and normal A4 printer paper. When you print out your pattern, it's very important to put the scale to 100% or the sizing will be off. There is usually a square somewhere in the beginning of the pattern that you can measure with a ruler to check that your printout is the right size. But as long as you set the scale to 100% and use the correct paper, everything will be fine. I use PDF patterns all the time and I have never had any problems. Here are some examples of how it can look. Okay, let's start! You'll need your pattern of course. I have an underwear pattern here. A companion is always nice. Lots of tape to attach all the pages together. And the refreshment of your choice. Mmm, coffee. Let the taping begin. Read the instructions carefully. In some cases you have to cut off a bit of the paper, but in this case you do not need to. This is just four pages, so it goes quickly, but carefully make sure that the lines connect and that everything is straight. Very important if you have a pattern that consists of lots of pages. It tends to get more and more crooked as you go. I like to put extra tape on the actual pattern parts, especially where I am going to cut. There, finished pattern. Now let's cut it out. You need a good pair of scissors and then cut, cut like the wind! I like to tape the back side and edges too everywhere where the paper is loose, because if you turn out to really like this pattern, you want it to hold up for a long time. Many pins and maybe even some alterations. And here we have finished pattern pieces in an artsy montage. I really hoped this helped to explain PDF patterns, and if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, that really helps me. Subscribe for more crafty content and if you like what I do, consider sponsoring me via coffee to help make these videos possible. Thank you for watching and see you next time!